Hey guys, what's going on? Rodolfo here. And today we have a very special video. Mayank, who is also an iOS developer and, and, a, and a YouTuber is joining us. Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. And we just did a video on his channel talking about our journeys. How did we become iOS developers? And in this video, we are going to both give you guys a few tips on how you can start your journey and become an iOS developer yourself. So let's do this. There are just so many ways to learn any kind of development these days. Um, we have the new 100 Days of Swift from O. Hudson. We have the Everyone Can Code from Apple if you have an iPad. Um, Mayank, what else do you think that? I think that you can go with the Ray Vandalik website. Uh, there is a lot of stuff out there. It is literally amazing to learn uh, out there and I believe that they, they have some, uh, you know, completely legit, legit stuff that you can learn out there. Uh, talking about other resources, you can also watch videos of Code with Chris. Uh, he makes amazing videos uh, on YouTube. And other channel, if you want to go pro programmatically with Swift, then you can uh, follow Brian Wong. Uh, and his channel's name, I think it's uh, Let's Code with, Let's uh, Build Today. Yeah, it's Let's Build Today. And yeah, I have also my introductory course on, uh, you know, Swift development. So if you want, then you can also watch my course as well. And the other thing uh, I would like to suggest, like you also said, I think that 100 days of Swift, that is also good. Uh, I think it's, it's, in, it's initiated by Paul Hudson, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, so I have also tried doing uh, some challenges on 100 days of Swift, though I didn't complete all the 100 days, I stopped at around 25 days because I'm not that good at, uh, you know, consistently practicing things. But yes, if you are starting off with these things, then you can uh, definitely learn some good things in Swift. There are also some other things like you can go offline and to uh, join some boot camps like uh, you can see on my channel, we have made a video and how I started off. I started off with a boot camp initially and even eventually I learned all the other stuff uh, after completing my boot camp from YouTube. So what do you think about this boot camp thing, Rolfo? What do you say? I think there's a lot of opportunities right now with that. Like there are many countries. Uh, Brazil is one of them. I think India is just starting with it and Indonesia and Italy, uh, all these countries now have Apple Developer Academies, which you have to be in college to, to get in. But if you are a college student and there is an Apple Developer Academy in your city and you wanna become an iOS developer, who better to learn from than Apple itself? So I think that that is a great resource and if you're in the US, there are all sorts of boot camps, boot camps for girls, for other uh, minorities. Um, there are just so, so much uh, opportunity out there. So try to take a look around in your city, see if there is anything going on from any universities, even if you're not going to university, uh, but maybe they will let you attend their boot camp and that's a, that's a pretty interesting way to start. My third tip is try to get an internship. There are a lot of people that uh, believe that you should not work for free or you should not work for uh, low paying jobs. But I do think that this is a very valid way to learn. If you don't know anything, no one is going to hire you. And just getting in, and maybe starting with a salary that's not as good as you'd like or a free vol uh, voluntary internship where you're going to learn a lot of things that can be a very valuable uh, asset and not just yeah not just to start learning but also to start networking with people who are doing the same that you're doing what do you think about that my uncle Right, right. Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, you can go for an internship, be it a paid one or, or, or a free one. Uh, eventually, you will learn something out of it. And once you will get to learn things and once you will, you know, improve your skills, then you can definitely make it to a paid internship or a full-time job. 
so internet internship doing internship is just a beginning and don't think about getting paid and all those things if you don't know about the ios stuff initially and you want you really want to learn then i think there is no problem to uh, have a free you know non paid internships so that's what my view is on this topic and the other thing uh, that we can go with is like the one thing that uh, really obstructs us in the beginning is that we really overthink about getting started and we think that we should do this course and then we should start off we should do, do that course and then we should start off you should not just think about you know doing this and that you just start off with the stuff and whatever you are thinking about you just start doing it otherwise you are never going to do it so what would you uh, like to say about it rodolfo uh yeah i think so i think that we want to be ready before we start and that's something that's never going to happen like you're never going to feel ready enough to then start i think it's true for development it's true for youtube it's true for like learning how to work a camera and doing videos and stuff like that it's true for anything like like yeah i completely agree like it works with everything even you, if you try if you want to learn driving then you will have to go and start driving you will have to try how to drive not just sitting at home and saying that i want to learn how to drive yeah reading books about driving is not going to get you driving it's the same thing um one of the things that some people told me in the beginning and i think is is interesting is Pick something that you want to do. Suppose you want to learn how to make an app that has a list that has a bunch of items like either photos or whatever in them. Then go to Google, research that like how do I make a list in iOS to show a bunch of things. And then you learn that and then you learn the next thing and the next thing and like I think uh having practical things that you want to do and then researching and trying to copy an interaction in an app not to ship it I like I'm not saying copy other people's work and do your own app and ship that as if it was yours I'm talking about like copying is a good way to learn how to do things because you have a reference point to to try right like like you can you can mimic a chat app maybe a chat app or you can mimic a instagram app you can uh, you, you don't really need to implement all those features but yeah you can start off with the basic one so that's how you can uh, take a start and start doing things and a real example that i will i would like to share with you guys is that i i also work in ios uh, professionally like uh, whenever i have something to do you know something new to implement in my ios app i sometimes ask my seniors like sir what should i do with this how should i implement this then they say only one thing like my ink you have google you can google it and you just get the results so <laughs> you don't really need to ask anybody you have the ultimate resource that is google so just type it and start doing it don't just uh, look for many options start with one and you will eventually get it get how to uh, you know uh, do things in it Okay, so this is what we wanted to share with you guys today. Um, I want to thank my uncle for being here. Yeah, Rodolfo, thanks for having me here. And I hope we can do this another time. Yeah, for sure. And until then, check out the video we did on my uncle's channel, talking about our journeys, how we started as iOS developers, and I'll link it up here in the card and put it in the description below. like subscribe do all the youtube things and go on to my channel subscribe to him as well and i'll see you on the next one bye